Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Microscope Beauty. Today I am giving you a walkthrough of my Oh Hello Stationery A5 Traveler's Notebook. I recently set this up for fall, switched my cover to this really cute executive one. So I thought I'd give you a little walkthrough because I've switched things up since my last Traveler's Notebook flip through video. Besides just getting bigger in size, the other things inside of it are a little bit different. So let's just dive right into it and show you guys what's inside. So I will link everything I can possibly link in the description below, as well as some other resource videos. If you're like, what the heck is a traveler's notebook? I got you covered. So this is the A5 size. I have a video on the Oh Hello channel all about the different sizes, but this one just seems to really work best for me. I use this as my like to-do list daily book that I carry around with me all of the time. So it's kind of like my mothership of information. On the top, I have a few different paper clips. I will link my favorite shops below, but of course this bow is from Lilac Pineapple Co. I love Amy, she's amazing. Definitely go check out her shop, but I will link some other felt paper clip shops that I like as well. So diving in, on this side I have all of my business cards. So I have my promo business card, my blog business card, and my stationary business card. In this pocket I like to keep any like event information, like invitations, that sort of thing over here so I can reference it when we're out and about if I need an address or something. And then I have this cute little sunflower paper clip here. So the first thing you see is my dashboard. So I get my dashboards from Chic Sparrow and a dashboard is basically just like a book cover you would have back in elementary school. So you can slip paper in to this little pocket so you can put photos, whatever you want. And I get all of my paper from Michaels or Joanne Fabrics. So I wanted this to be really fall. So I went there and picked up a bunch of different sheets of fall paper. And then I have this little pocket that you get at the Target dollar spot right before school starts. It's like super popular in the planning community, this little adhesive pocket. So there's a pocket right here. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it. That way I can slip die cuts in and out of it. So I can change up whatever die cuts I have up here so it looks super cute. These are from the Novel Coffee. The first insert I have when you turn over the dashboard is my daily hourly. This is the one I reference every single day. This is where I have all of my to-do lists all of my like information lists, meetings, that sort of thing, where I really break down what I'm doing, where I'm going, what I gotta get done that day. I have that insert jump banded together with this next one. There is this cute little acetate in between. I also got this from Michaels. So little cute acetate, another pocket with another die cut, and this paper is from Michaels as well. This is where I keep my project tracker insert. I use the project tracker for a ton of different things, but the main one I use it for is to document new release schedules. So these were all of the new releases that I came out with in September. So I mark whether or not they're designed, laid out, mocked up, listing, if I included them in a video, and then if I took photos of them. So I got a lot of photos to take. And then I just write out all of the different things that I want to release over the next couple of months. I write those here. And then I also use this for travel. So if you do a lot of traveling, you can write like your locations up here and then everything you need to pack. So I use this for like crack shows and stuff. So I write down like all of our stock, our card reader, bags, that sort of thing. And then I can record which conference we're going to. So that is what I keep in that insert. This is the back page of that acetate. I have this really cute little postcard we came out with last year. We do postcards in all of our orders. So this is the one that we came out with. Another pocket, another die cut. This is where my little bow is. So this is where I keep my Erin Condren Jot Your Thought journals. This one came out in their summer seasonal surprise box, but I have a bunch of them just to switch in and out. And this is where I keep the bulk of my to-do list. So this is where I have like my main to-do list. If I'm feeling super overwhelmed, I'll put brain dump stuff in here. And it's this list that I'll transfer into my daily hourly to break it out and make it a bit more manageable. So I've included these little tabs as well. These are from Erin Condren, just to help me figure out what section of the notebook I'm currently working in. I just add pages and just keep writing. So I'll show you a few things. So like this is a brain dump I'm currently working on. So that's my current to do. And then if you turn the page, there is some like blog post ideas. This is how we do card mockups. 
This is how we do sales orders. So this page is where I put sticky notes down for different shopping. So when I go to Sephora or I place an online order, I can just take off this sticky note, take it with me or remove it and then not have to waste this page. So this is just where I jot down anything. So another paper clip, another dashboard. Then I have another sheet of acetate. This is a polka dot one and then another die cut. I actually have two in here. The other one is from Chic Sparrow. And so this is just a dot grid insert. This is where I write meeting notes. So I have a ton of meeting notes in here just to jot down notes and things from them. And then I'll take anything that I have to do and put it either in a long list in that Erin Condren insert, or if there's only a couple of items, I'll put it into my daily hourly. So this is more or less just scratch paper, not actually lists, just notes and things. So after that insert is the dashboard, the other sheet of acetate, and then I have a little pen loop from Ohlo. So they are adhesive pen loops, so I just stuck it back here. So when you close the insert, the pen is just nicely tucked in there. So that is everything in my traveler's notebook. It's super functional, but I also have a few cute touches, but it's not overly cutesy or impractical. Everything in here I use definitely on a weekly basis and even almost on a daily basis as well. Let me know what you thought of this video. I will be switching it over to a more winter themed later on in the year. So if you want to see that one, let me know in the comments as well. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any planning and lifestyle videos from me every single week. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.